Hey you and welcome back to Beauty Over 40. Today is collaboration time and today we have a holiday theme. This holiday theme we are focusing on the color red. So we are all to incorporate a look using red as you can see here. Definitely make sure you check out all the girls that participated in this month's collaboration. As you can see these are beautiful looks. The girls always put so much time and effort into recording and editing these videos. So definitely make sure you check out all the ladies. And if you like to see my look, definitely stay tuned. I'm down if you're down. Let's ride out right now. We'll go where there ain't no crowds. Somewhere underneath. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. I am starting off with my lip serum. You guys know I love my lip serum. It really hydrates the lips and just gets your lips really nice, hydrated and supple. And then I'm going into my toner as usual. And we have already done our makeup off camera, so we're gonna go right into the eyes. And for the eyes, I'm starting off with the Marc Wale eyeshadow base. We're just gonna take a little bit of that. As you can see, I'm using my lash applicator and I'm just explaining the back of the lash applicator works really great as a spatula. So definitely check that out on my website. I will have the link down below. We're grabbing just a little bit of that eyeshadow base. And we're gonna go right ahead and apply just a, a little bit of that goes a long way. We're just applying that on our eyelids. While we're doing that, I'm just going to share one of my favorite holiday memories. One of my favorite memories is, as a kid, of course, I remember my mom and my, my aunts going out shopping and of course they didn't want us to see the gifts so they would always go they would take everything into my grandmother's room but this particular this particular holiday I remember just being so excited I wanted to see what they brought back and I remember there was just a little bit of space in between the bottom of the door and the floor so as a kid I just remember like looking up under the door and it was I don't know it was like you know how you watch a movie and they kind of pan through a door and it opens up and it's like a whole new world that's how it felt to me just peeking in and seeing some of the things which I shouldn't have been sneaking but seeing some of the things that they um, bought for us for holidays that's one of my one of my favorite memories as a kid And another one, I remember my mom, I think I was, I think I was, I don't know, I had to be like under five, like five and under. I can't remember my exact age, but I remember one year my mom bought me this doll. It was either Baby Dad Away or Baby Come Back or something like that. I don't know which one it was, but I remember when that doll started walking towards me child I went the other way I didn't want to have nothing to do with that doll um, those are just some fond memories I have of you know being a kid and of course growing up grandma cooking feasts right and just being around family I, c I come from a singing family so <laughs> every holiday we would get together and just have a good time singing and you know just having a good time um to me family there's nothing more important than family i still today love being around my family and those are some great memories i have of the holidays now it's you guys turn to share with me what are some of your favorite holiday memories i would love to go through the comments and share and just read some of those so definitely Share some of your holiday memories with me down below. All 
All right, now we're gonna go ahead and get started on the eyes and I'm just pressing that concealer in the eyeshadow base to make sure that it is not creasing before I start the application process. For the eyeshadow and I'm gonna start off with red. I'm gonna go in with the red here from the Dream Cosmetics Gemini palette. And we're just gonna start to carve out our cut crease here in just a second. Gemini palette. And I'm gonna take that red right there and start carving out my cut crease. And I'm just kind of pressing that in, carving out where I want that line. We're just gonna to continue to do that until I get the shape I want. All right, after we get this shape we want, then we're just gonna blend, blend that out a little bit. All right, we're starting at the top of that cut crease just to blow it out a little bit, as you can see here. All right, after we get that blown out, I'm using this salt and pepper palette. I'm gonna go in with that brown color I just showed you, and I'm just going in to darken up the crease. So we're doing the same thing, but we're bringing that brown just down a little bit lower, just so you can see the transition of the two colors. And we're just pressing that in as well. And we're also just gonna blend that out. All right, now as you can see, we're just going in and we're just cutting that crease. I like to use the very top, the very tip of the brush to outline my cut crease. And just take your time shape out your crease. Having a good magnified mirror helps as well. You will definitely want something where you can get up really close and see what you're doing. Kind of like a to, I like to tap and then just kind of pull it down after I get that little area. You'll see I kind of tap it first and then I pull pull the product down. All right. We're just going in with that same Gemini palette. I'm using the white color and I'm adding that in the center of my lid. After I get that done in the inner and outer corner, I'm gonna go in with gold as you will see next.
And I'm just overlapping those colors a little bit. When you're blending, you always want to overlap those colors just a little bit. All right, and as you can see here, I'm taking the brown and then on top of the brown, I'm gonna add some of that copper color as you can see here. Again, overlapping the colors. Okay, here I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. This is my favorite liner. It's been a minute since I've worn liner, so this was uh, definitely a challenge. <laughs> and I'm okay with it. I've been just really loving my looks without any liner. As you can see, mascara, coating the lashes really good. And then we're gonna go in with some lashes for my website. I have several styles, you guys. Also check those out as well. Oh, love that lash. So pretty. Okay, we're just tacking that up there. All right, and then we're going into my lippy. Since the eyes are a little bit dramatic, we're gonna go in with a nude lip. My favorite nude lip right now is by Dream Cosmetics, and it's called Crushing. I love this color. <laughs> it's just a perfect muted, purplish grayish nude. Melanin friendly, so definitely check it out. I have a link to Dream Cosmetics below down in the description bar all right so we're gonna whip up this hair and that is my look you guys this is my holiday look including red got my candy cane earrings on um as always guys please make sure you check out my girls I love them so dearly. I hope everyone is having a wonderful holiday season. And if you would, please share some of your favorite holiday memories. I'll definitely have all the girls' information down below, their YouTube handles, and also their Instagram handles. You guys, let them know I sent you over. Definitely show them some love. I apologize about having to do a voiceover again. Something's wrong with my microphone. Microphone, and I'm working on trying to figure out exactly what's wrong with that. But definitely thank you guys for hanging in there, watching my videos. I really appreciate you guys. And if you guys are not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram at LRH Makeup, and also on TikTok at LRH Makeup, and also underscore beauty over 40 on TikTok. And of course, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing to my channel turn on post notifications that way you'll be notified when i upload new content all right guys until next time remember the best makeup you can wear is confidence